Indigenously made fighter jet Tejas has been the dream project of India for a very long time. It is a capable plane, but it is yet to be the first choice for Indian military planners. One of the recent jet fighter planes to beat Tejas was the Dassault's Rafale, which India has ordered in large numbers. In this video, we will look at how Tejas performs in comparison to the French Rafale fighter. Let's start with a small intro of both the planes. Tejas was India's pet project, which started way back in the 1980s. But due to many factors, it did not take off. It got its final operational clearance only in 2019. It is the smallest and the lightest in its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. Tejas' first and only customer as of now is the Indian Air Force, which at present has two squadrons based at Sulu in Coimbatore. The Rafale is a French twin-engine Canard Delta multi-role fighter aircraft built and designed by the Dassault Aviation. India has been the customer of French aviation industry for a very long time. The French has previously sold the Mirage 2000 and the Sabecat Jaguar. Now coming back to the topic, how do Tejas and Rafale fare against each other? Both Tejas and Rafale have similar delta wing configuration. The length of Tejas is 13.2 meters, while Rafale is slightly longer at 15.27 meters. The wingspan of Tejas is 8.2 meters, while that of Rafale is 10.90 meters. Rafale has a height of 5.34 meters, whereas Tejas is only 4.4 meters. So by all means, Tejas is smaller than Rafale. Rafale's maximum speed is Mach 1.8, whereas that of Tejas is Mach 1.6. It is the aircraft engines that Indians have been struggling with for a long time. Aircraft engine technology is a closely guarded secret, even more than nuclear weapons technologies. India developed a prototype engine called Kaveri, but Kaveri failed high altitude test in Russia. Tejas is today powered by a single engine General Electric 414 afterburning turbofan generating around 98 kilotons of thrust. The Rafale has two Senecma M8A turbofans generating 50.04 kilotons thrust each when dry and 78 kilotons with afterburner. This is a very advanced engine. The compact range of Rafale is around 1850 kilometers within three external fuel tanks while Tejas has a demonstrated compact range of 500 kilometers without any external fuel tanks. What sets apart Rafale from Tejas is its armament. Rafale has 14 hardpoints, while Tejas has only 8. Rafale can carry a wide range of missiles. Of these, add-to-air missile Meteor and add-to-land missile Scal are a game-changer for the whole region. Let me explain this in detail. In the Kargil War, fought in 1999, Indian Air Force jets were launched close to the mountain peaks occupied by the Pakistani intruders. Because of this, the Indian aircrafts came under the range of the deadly manpads like Stinger and Anza. Due to this, India lost three aircrafts. Now the newly acquired air-to-surface missile Scalp has a range of approximately 500 kilometers, which means Rafale can take out a target near Elosi by firing Scalp missiles from somewhere near Himachal Pradesh and safely be out of range of the Pakistani SAMs and manpads. The Meteor missile, which is a beyond visual range air to air missile, has a capacity to fire onto the target even without getting a radar lock. The missile can be homed on the target in flight as it has a range of 150 kilometers. This will also beat all the missiles Pakistan is having at present. Tejas can also carry all these missiles, including the indigenously made Astra air to air missile. While firing the missile is one thing, but tracking and maneuvering it using its integrated defense system is altogether a different ball game. The Rafale uses Spectra as its electronic warfare system. This is an integrated electronic warfare suit providing long-range detection, identification, and accurate localization of infrared homing, radio frequency, and laser threats. This system has been battle-tested. Tejas uses the Israeli-made EWL-8222W electronic warfare suit. Rafale is fitted with TAILS RBE-2AA Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar. This has a range of 200 kilometers. 
Tejas uses the ELM2052 active electronically scanned array radar which are made by ELTA systems of Israel Aerospace Industries. Another striking feature of Rafael is a small green display in the cockpit and it is called Optronic Sector Frontal or OSF. The OSF enables the deployment of infrared missiles such as MICA at beyond visual range distances. It can also be used for detecting and identifying airborne targets as well as those on ground and at sea. The SALT describes the OSF as being immune to jamming and capable of providing covert long-range surveillance. Both Rafale and Tejas have the helmet-mounted display, while Tejas pilots use the Elbit-4 mounted display. While Rafale has been used in combat over Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, Iraq and Syria, Tejas has yet to see its first war. In August 2020, Tejas was moved out of its home base in Sulu and deployed in a base near a Pakistan border. This was the first time it was given an operational role. India is very eager to develop Tejas to an international standard. It even tested a modified version of Tejas for the Indian aircraft carrier. But technological challenges remain. Because when it comes to selecting an aircraft, every aspect, including the missile it carries, has to be taken into account. Hope one day Tejas lives up to the expectation of the Indian Air Force and the Navy and make our country proud. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.